Weight loss drugs known as GLP-1 agonists are all the rage these days. Heck, Oprah uses them, right? And they can help people lose a substantial amount of weight, but at what cost? I'm senior reporter Roland Barris, and if your name brand drug that you normally get at, say, a Walgreens or a CVS is not covered by insurance, well, it can cost you $1,000 a month or more. But there is a way to get these drugs without breaking the bank. It just requires a bit more diligence. If you want to try a GLP-1 weight loss drug but thought it was too expensive, there may be hope through a compounding pharmacy. Usually the price is a fraction of what the big pharmaceutical companies charge. And the reason for that is that compounded products aren't technically, well, they're not FDA approved. That means terzepatide, which is similar to Monjaro, can cost 150 bucks a month as opposed to close to 1000 for the name brand. Custometica does not do GLP-1 agonists for injection, but others do. The FDA allows compounding pharmacies to manufacture drugs that are on a shortage list, but there are regulations. We have to compound a medication with ingredients that are supplied to us from an FDA registered manufacturer. The industry took a big hit in 2012 when a New England compounding center was tied to a fungal meningitis outbreak that killed 64 people. But generally, compounding pharmacies spend their time helping patients receive specialized products in small batches. The intention of compounding isn't to make knockoffs or cheaper versions of brand name drugs. Our niche is to be able to make drugs that aren't available. There are two types of compounders, 503A and 503B. A 503B is what's called an outsourcing facility. And these facilities are like a, a small pharmaceutical manufacturer. They are under the scrutiny of the FDA directly. Dr. Myers says there's some reassurance if the drug you get comes from a 503B, but that means you have to ask questions. And Myers says, don't be afraid. You can actually ask for a pedigree of the drug substance, and that will show where it was manufactured and everybody's hands it's been in. Uh, so you can ask for a pedigree. That's pretty, pretty, pretty hardcore. But you could you could ask for that. And even though the GLP-1 weight loss drugs are hugely popular, the experts say when it comes to safety, so far, so good. You're in the industry. Have you heard of any problems? You know, I haven't heard of any specific problems. Have you heard of any serious issues? I have not personally heard of any problems with it. As always, you should consult with your doctor before using GLP-1 agonists. Make sure to get a prescription and ask your pharmacy some questions, like how long they've been in business, what their sanitation practices are, and whether they get their supply from a 503B provider. In Boise, I'm Roland Barris, Idaho News 6.